Many business transactions in SAP Business One can be controlled and managed by using workflow processing, which is based on business rules with approval routing if you require it. This gives you the ability to make sure that any transactions that meet certain criteria can be sent through to the right people in your organization for approval. Let's take a look at exactly how that functionality works. For this demonstration, I'm logged in as two different users. I'm logged in as Sophie, who's one of our purchasing officers, and I'm also logged in as the manager who has the approval rights for this particular uh, type of transaction. So my business rule says that any time that uh, one of my purchasing people puts in a purchase order that's more than $2,000, I want that to go through an approval process. So let's go ahead and let's enter a purchase order. I click on purchasing, then open up my purchase order screen. I'm going to go ahead and select one of my suppliers. In this case, it's going to be Lasercom. All of my information in this screen is automatically filled out for me. And I'm going to go ahead and select my IBM InfoPrint 1312. I can see that these are $600 each. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to order four of them. So I choose add. And what happens is the system automatically detects that this purchase order meets the criteria of the approval process. So I'm going to pop in a message here, please approve my PO. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And if I dive across here into the manager's system, you can see I'm now logged in into a separate business one session as the manager. What I get automatically is a pop-up message from the approval system telling me that Sophie Clogg has entered in a purchase order that she requires approving. I click on the drill down arrow and that opens up the workflow header. I can see all the details of this particular approval. The status is that it's pending. It was created on this particular date. And I can even see the authorization workflow process that's been triggered. Before I make a decision, I want to go ahead and have a look at that document. So with one click on the drill down, I can now see here is my purchase order. I can see that I have uh, this particular situation where I have uh, Sophie's trying to order four of this particular item. I can go ahead and I can drill down with one click and look at all the item master data. I can look at the purchasing information. I can even look at the stock data. So I can see that I have 949 available, 120 committed, and five are ordered. So Potentially, Sophie has ordered these particular uh, printers with a special purchasing price. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to approve this purchase order. So I'll just go and change my flag here and say this is now approved. And I'll hit my update button on that. If I quickly dive back across here to Sophie, you'll see that back in Sophie's screen, she's automatically received a message back telling her that the purchase order is now approved. So she can click on the drill down arrow and you'll now see that the purchase order has a status of approved and Sophie can now go ahead and hit the add button which then creates the purchase order. So we've been able to maintain a process that captures the details of this purchase order, routes it through to the appropriate person for approval. That kind of routing can take place on the basis of any rule which you can create through using uh, a query. For example, you can check the purchase order against a budget. You can then also go ahead and specify additional rules, such as if I have more than 10 of a particular item in stock, I don't want to go ahead and create purchase orders, or I want that purchase order to go ahead and be approved. So there are many different ways that you can utilize that functionality within SAP Business One.